P-U, do you smell that? That's a latrine or an otter bathroom. The otters can use their poop smell to help them tell things about one another. Poop can tell us many things about an animal, things that even a brief observation can't tell us. Our veterinarian technicians at the zoo use poop to tell them about an animal's health and how to care for them. Let's go take a look at how our vet techs use poop to help them care for animals. Can you tell me a little bit about where we are in the zoo today? Exactly. So we are in the zoo's animal hospital, I'm currently standing here in the lab. I'm a veterinary technician, so I'm a very similar to, um, or what I call myself as an animal nurse. Okay. And so human nurses typically um, look at, or they are in a particular area in a hospital. Uh, we are in every area. So we are working with the patient, we are in the lab, we are preparing for surgery. So we're a little bit everywhere. So what are some of the things that you are looking for in the lab? After a procedure or a checkup on the animal, if the veterinarian wants us to collect blood on the animal or a fecal sample, that sample actually comes here to the lab and we process that. So we look at uh, the fecal sample to make sure they don't have any parasites, um, to make sure that they're healthy and their GI tract is functioning appropriately. Um, we also look at blood um, to make sure that they don't have an infection or nothing's going on in the inside of the animal. We get routine uh, fecal samples from all animals in the zoo. So we have uh, fecal cups that we send out to the keepers and they um, are a clear little cup that has a little shovel on the inside. And okay. so it's pretty easy to collect the sample and that gets submitted to the lab here. Um, we will use a variety of different tools, um, paper cups. Um, we like to take the fecal sample and strain it through a mixture, a sugar mixture. Mm. And uh, then we'll put it on in a um, tube and spin it in our centrifuge. And then that, uh, the top of the, or the meniscus of the, that tube will get put onto a slide and we look at it under the microscope. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're seeing when you are looking at these samples? Right, it's um, a lot of what we're looking at is digested material. So what the actual poop looks like under uh, the microscope. Um, but we are looking for parasites and those parasites can be in different forms. So they can look like an egg or what we call an ova. Um, we can also see them in a larval stage, so it's actually moving around. Our job is to identify them as best as we can um, and record that and also record the quantity. What has been the grossest poop sample mm. that you've had to look at? That is a hard one. So I would have to say some of the bigger snakes, it is pretty stinky. <laughs> I like the fact that we can work with all the animals. For me, it is very exciting every day to work with uh, rhinos and elephants and penguins. 